I've done pretty much every single year I've been here on YouTube so if you haven't already make sure to click the subscribe button right down there so that you can be subscribed because you know why not and also remember to thumbs up this video if you're excited and if you want to get healthy and you want to be the best you you can be and if you're excited then this video a big fat thumbs up and also remember to follow me on Instagram and Twitter because when I'm not on YouTube, I post a lot of things on Instagram and Twitter, so you know, you want to follow me there if you want to keep up with my life. And also, it would be really, really cool if you guys check out my audition to a music competition in the description box down below. So please, please check it out because that will mean the world to me. So click the link in the description box down below. And by doing this video, I'm not saying that you have to lose weight or that you have to stop eating or that you have to look a certain way to feel beautiful. If you feel confident in your own skin and if you feel like you're the best you can be and that you're the healthiest you can be, then that's good for you. You don't have to look a certain way to feel that way. Yeah, have fun. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, you want to be motivated to exercise. And I get really motivated to exercise by getting on some cool sports clothing. And no, exercise clothing doesn't have to be expensive. I got my tights from H&M for $5, you guys. And also another thing I really like to do is go on my iPhone and go into Instagram and then search for training or fitness accounts. And my favorites are the Pineapple Girl and Blogilates. They just both really inspire me to work out and eat healthy and just be the best me I can be. And lastly, I really like to listen to upbeat music because it really just gets me going and gets me really energetic. And the first workout or activity that I like to do is running or sprinting. And no, I don't like jogging that much because my endurance is basically down uh, underground right now. But what I like to do is sprint 100 meters and then take a break and then sprint 100 meters again. Do that a couple of times until I'm really, really tired. And if you're lucky and your endurance is better than mine, invite a friend and go jogging together. Now this is probably my favorite form of exercise and that is to do gymnastics. So even if you can't do a back handspring or a back tuck, then you know, try to do some cartwheels or try to stand on your hands and I promise you'll get better. Doing gymnastics for an hour burns from 200 to 400 calories. Now cycling is a really fun thing to do with friends or family in good weather. And I really like to go cycling to places and then exploring, maybe do a little hiking and then cycle back. And did you know that cycling for an hour can burn off from 300 to 600 calories? That's pretty amazing. So maybe a light earlier on, maybe just dance now is my favorite way to exercise. Just dance now is a great way to get together with friends and dance together. Not only is dancing fun, but dancing can burn all from 400 to 650 calories in an hour. I would say yes to that. And if you haven't ever played Just Dance Now, Just Dance is an on-screen dancing game where you and your friends each have a controller in your hands and you have to follow the motions of an on-screen dancer. At the end, you're judged by the accuracy of each of your moves and receive points. That way, you'll see who plays worse and who plays best. I'm gonna hold ya when no one and if I don't have time or don't want to do any of the other activities, I try to do this exercise. So first of all, I warm up by doing some jumping jacks or some frog jumps. And then after that, I go into plank, side plank, and then I also do some push-ups. I'm not going to go too much in detail because I have a fitness routine that I will link in the description box down below where I say a lot more about the workout I do. But otherwise than that, I try to exercise my abs and then also my back at the end by doing some leg lifts and some um, upper body lifts and them both at the same time. And then at last, it's really, really important to stretch because stretching prevents injuries and it also makes sure that your muscles won't be so sore the next day. And also, it's really cool to show your friends that you're really flexible. I'm gonna hold ya. So always before I exercise, I love to make some infused water. So 
I always grab some strawberries, raspberries, stripes, and also some lemons, but we didn't have lemons at this time. And then I cut them all into pieces and place them into my cute boss bottles. There are plenty of recipes to make infused water both on Google and YouTube, so you're not bound to make this kind of infused water. And when you're done, just fill the water bottle up with some water and then you're done. Infused water boosts your metabolism, fills you up so you don't eat as much junk, and improves your mood. As well as that, it also tastes a lot better than regular water. And yes, it's still important to drink a lot of water, so if you have free time, you feel a little hungry, go ahead, drink some water, and you won't feel that hungry. Health experts mean that you have to drink seven glasses of water every day. Do you drink that many? I don't. Let's just all commit to drinking more water and less soda today. Because water clears your skin, flushes toxins from your body, and keeps your food moving through the system. At last but not least, try picking healthier food options for you and your body. Instead of getting the biggest chocolate ice cream ever, go get some Froyo and put fruits on it. I promise your body will thank you later. And that is it for today's video guys. I hope you got a little inspired, maybe a little motivated to go exercise and eat a little healthier. If you've been sitting in front of that screen for the past three hours like I have, Get up, get exercising, have a little fun, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.